tri-beams are an essential part of supporting decks and tree houses between two trees or a tree and ground supported post setup. This video is designed to show you the step-by-step -step process for constructing a tri-beam. For installing the tri-beam, please see our tab or treehouse attachment bolt installation video. Treehouse Supplies tri-beam hardware is designed to fit 4x6 or 4x8 lumber, so make sure you're picking up the right kind when at the hardware store. Tri-beams consist of three pieces, a horizontal piece on top and two 45 degree pieces right below. Let's focus on the top piece for now. First, determine how wide you want your treehouse to be. If your treehouse is 8 feet wide, cut your top piece to 10 feet. If it is 12 feet, cut your top piece to 14 feet. This way, we'll have one foot of overhang on either side. Let's first make our notches for the two lower angle pieces to fit into. Our notches will begin one foot from either end, so take your pencil and mark the underside of your beam one foot in. Now take a square and mark a straight line. Next, set your circular saw's depth to one inch. Run your saw through the line. You should now have a one inch deep notch in your top piece. Next, measure 8 inches further out from the notch you just made. On the face side of your 4x6 or 4x8, draw a line connecting the 1 inch deep notch and the mark you just made. Set your circular saw to full depth and cut the line. Finish the line with a hand saw or saw saw. Great! You just made your first notch. Repeat these same steps on the opposite side of your second notch. Now let's focus on the two bottom pieces. Draw a 45 degree angle, about 2 inches down, on the one end of your piece. A speed square is the easiest tool to achieve this. Now flip your square over and draw a mere 45 degree line out toward the end of your material. You will not be able to draw it out all the way. With this new line, measure out from the bottom 1 inch and make a mark. From this mark, draw a line to the opposite end of the line you drew first. Cut this line off and the small bit remaining as well. When finished, it should be the exact same dimensions as the top piece's notch. Again, do the same for the second piece as well. Now it's time to install our two lower pieces. We recommend GRK RSS screws for good and solid attachment. When installing these lower pieces, we find it's a good idea to point the screw perpendicular to the top piece so that the lower piece doesn't walk a few sixteenths of an inch out of the notch while screwing. After one piece is installed, line up the second piece to the notch and allow the bottom to overlap the other piece. Once the top is lined up correctly, mark the points on both bottom pieces and connect them with a pencil line. They should be close to 45 degrees, but are usually a bit off. This is normal. Cut the lines and install the second piece. You should now have something that looks like this. Now we have to cut off the bottom point. First, take your 90 degree angle tri-beam hardware and hold it up so that it's evenly spaced between the two pieces. The two brackets should be right in the middle of your bottom pieces, like so. Take a pencil and mark both sides of the hardware bracket. Draw a line connecting the two. This will be our bottom line cut. Please note that this isn't an exact science. As long as your bracket is placed closely to what the diagram shows, you will be fine. Now cut the line. Great! It's now time to cut our center notch. Be sure to screw the two pieces together at the bottom to keep them from moving around. Make sure they are flush 
and also be sure to place your screw at the very end of the material as we'll be cutting in the center. On both sides at the bottom, mark a point at an inch and 9 sixteenths and an inch and 13 sixteenths. Now connect your two lines. Continue these lines down either side for about 10 inches. You should now have the bottom of your tribe marked like this. At the end of your 10 inch mark on either side, take a half inch drill bit and run it through straight down. Now cut the lines with a circular saw. Finish with a hand saw or sawzall. This part is a bit tricky and you may need a bit of patience. Hopefully that fits. Now that the notch is cut, test fit your hardware. If it's a bit tight, you may need to ream it out a bit more with the saw. Now that it fits, it's time to mark where your four bolt openings will be. Place the 90 degree tri-beam hardware on the outside and mark the center points of the holes with a pencil. Now drill out the holes with the 5 8 bit straight through. Be sure to clean out everything before inserting the 90 degree bracket. Again, test fit the bracket to see if everything lines up. If not, again, ream out the holes until you have a clear shot for all four of them. Once that's done, hammer in the bolts and screw on the nuts with the washer and lock washer. You're done!